What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel is another awesome review. Uh, this Husqvarna Combi Can is the bomb. Uh, if you're looking for a review, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get down to the nitty gritty here. Um, this Husqvarna can is absolutely awesome. So I did a lot of hem hauling around about this and I decided that I should go ahead and spend the money. They're like 38 bucks, whatever. Um, this one came straight from the United Kingdom. Um, it came in a goofily, oddly wrapped kind of thing that really wasn't in a box. It really wasn't padded or anything. It just came in a can. So uh, this is five liters, which is, you know, just, just about, uh, just over a gallon of gas um, and about half a gallon on the um, on the oil. So oil goes over here, gas over here, obviously. So what I really like about this can is its fit and finish. The fit and finish is bar none. I don't think anybody else has ever made a gas can that looks and operates as good as this can. Uh, one thing that I do love, absolutely love about it, is the O-rings. So. I love anything that comes with O-rings instead of flat washers. Um, that's really important to me. Um, hopefully we'll not spill this while I have the can uh, or the uh, lid off. Uh, maybe you can see up in here, it has an O-ring, nice fat O-ring in the seal. Um, very nice, uh, works awesome. So another thing that I love about the fueler or the uh, fill neck is there's two of these push fill necks, the one for oil, one for gas, and then another one that comes with it is this gray one here. Um, I'll roll in a close-up shot so you can see. The gray one here does not have uh, one of these uh, push caps, so it, it, it kind of just flows out. But it flows out at such an awesome rate for oil, it, it's great. I'll show you in a second when we fill up the saw. So first I wanna show you up close um, when you pull this back. Okay, your fuel just runs out here. And of course, another O-ring here around the edge. So you can lock this in place um, so you can't really do anything with it or you can keep it unlocked and then you just press it down. So uh, when you see me fuel up the saw here in a minute, you're gonna see me put this in the can and then I'm gonna press down and the gas will come out. Awesome, awesome feature. So before we get to the fueling part and the oil part, um, let's talk about a couple little features on this thing. I'm gonna take a charge of the camera, I'm gonna spin you around here, and I'm gonna show you a couple up, up close uh, features of this can that I, I really like. All right guys, so this uh, rubber tab on the outside here, it's kind of like a toolbox. Um, I keep my backup wedge here, a fresh wedge, just in case you need it. Um, I've got some other uh, tools like my carburetor, screwdriver, um, I think I also have a small Leatherman down in there. Nonetheless, um, awesome place to hide a wedge, um, some stuff that you might need on the trail. Um, I'm trying to do this one-handed while it is standing on a, a log, so bear with me. Um, on the other side of this bad boy, um, it has a spot for a scrunch tool. Um, as you can see, it kind of mars up the plastic a little bit, but um, it, that's what you get, you know, it's plastic. Um, hold your round file any way you want it. It also will hold a, a square file or a bastard file here. Um, and, you know, it's just all around cool. So I really like this up close. You know, you're looking at the fueler neck or the uh, oil neck that uh, I, it's just real nice fit and finish on this. Um, I love the O-rings here. Um, you can carry it with a shoulder strap if you like, but um, I find that it's 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 good where it's at, man. You don't really, you know, unless you're hiking this in somewhere, the shoulder strap isn't really necessary. Um, but if you were hiking it down the trail somewhere, um, you know, it'd be it'd be uh, advantageous for you to put maybe maybe a 550 cord lanyard on this, or you know, an old luggage strap or something like that. So let's show you guys how this fills up the saw and just how awesome it is. All right, guys, first off, I'm going to show you uh, filling up the gas tank. Um, literally, you don't have to worry about any can uh, any uh, uh, screw cap or nothing like that. It literally just pushes down. So what I do is this thing's full of fuel, if you can tell here. Um, nice, clear sight glass all the way down the can. Um, it comes all the way up through the through the actual threaded piece. So it's really, really, the fit and finish is awesome. So let's go ahead and turn it upside down on my saw. 
and literally you just push the cap in and we're fueling. All right, so after you get the hang of it, um, I kind of uh, overfilled it just a tad, but it doesn't come out too crazy fast that you can't stop. So I'm gonna spin it around here, see if we can get a, uh, see if we can get a good representation of what it's like to fuel the oil. This oil spout that doesn't have the push on it, um, it flows the perfect amount for oil. Um, it doesn't pour out of there and it doesn't uh, really just drippy droppy. Um, it goes nice and slow. I hope you can see that. Um, it's, it's great so that you don't overfill things. Um, this is the winter mix, or sorry, this is the summer mix, so it's really thick. Um, and it just flows out of there perfect. Now I've fueled up my saw and I've got it all here in a trusty can. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're looking into uh, this combi can, it is absolutely 100% worth the money. Um, at 38 bucks, I think I bought it for, um, it, there's no going back. Um, I will also roll in another pitcher. It did come, remember it does come with the uh, oil cap that you literally just press in and it doesn't really have a screw cap. Um, I find that that is a little too much um, if you're running the summer mix. So if you're running the thicker weight oil, um, it goes a little too slow for me. But if you're running that winter mix, I will definitely be switching out uh, this spout for the push spout. So they have a lighter color uh, spout on here so you know oil and then the darker spout is gas. So uh, it, it's really it exceeded my expectations. So I, I see this can lasting me a long time and it definitely takes up a lot more or a lot less space than my one and a half gallon can plus you know the still jug or if you're using a husky jug whatever it might be. Um, heck, maybe you're even using a different type of fuel can. Um, th this thing is awesome. Uh, I know there's some other styles out there. I know still makes one, but um, they have a lot to be desired on their filler necks and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helps someone out if you're looking into one of these combi cans because it's the bomb um, and you should just go get one right now. So, uh, you know, I'm not getting any, I'm not getting paid any money for this. Uh, I bought this one myself. Uh, this channel is all paid and sponsored by me, myself, and I. And, you know, I'll always give you that down and dirty, honest review of things. So if it sucks, it sucks. If it's awesome, it's awesome. So it doesn't have to be expensive to be awesome, but if it's expensive, it better be awesome. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you like, please click that subscribe button. For all of my subscribers that have been sticking around, you know what time it is. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And I'll see you guys in the next video.